is incredible. And just if you feel like worshiping him while these folks are being baptized, you do that. Amen? I said amen. amen. Glory. God bless you. First of all, my name is Robert, and um, I'm just giving my, Lord to the, my life to the Lord tonight because I'm sick of living a criminal life. Bless you, Jesus. Ah, oh, glory. My name is Terry Curtin from Tallahassee, Florida. I thank the Lord God Almighty for my salvation. I thank him that he reigns on high, and I thank him for this opportunity to receive the water baptism this evening. My name's Tony Dalton. I'm from Waverly, Ohio. And I thank the Lord to have this opportunity to wash me of my sins. I'm Danny Heron. I'm from Rockport, Indiana. And uh, the Holy Ghost brought me down here, you know? You know? Because I went to you know, Georgia to get a title on a truck, you know, changed over and stuff. And I heard about this place, you know? You know? And the Holy Pot, you know, God told me, come down here and I won't leave like I came, you know? Praise the Lord. There's a, there's a new fire, there's a new zeal, there's a new go after God, and I'm here to give the old man another burial, his last. This one we're going to seal up with concrete and let the Holy Ghost put seven seals on it that no man can open. Grace Baldwin. God has set me, God has set me free from emotional problems in my life, yes. and He's delivered me from the, the ways of this world. Those, those people that know me come to come to God. He will set you free. He will, He, he will be there for you. He can't. Those people that I know that are on drugs 
that are doing alcohol. You can't, can't find people. Can't find. Can't can't find your inner peace, your freedom, in a bottle, or any other substance, but God. Thank you, Lord. My name is Tammy Richard Dollar. Um, I've been separated for about a month now. Um, this is my second separation. If it went for God, I don't know where I'd be right now. Um, this past year, there's um, been jealousy problems. There's been um, pornography. There's been hitting in the family. If it went for God, I don't know where I'd be. During the marriage, there was um, with the problems that we had, I was about to turn to alcohol. If it weren't for God, I wouldn't have been here now. And I thank God. And I've been in church and always lived the life. I never got into alcohol or drugs before, but I thank God for being there. And I never really gave everything to him. I never got baptized before. And this is, to me, a stealing thing. I'm going to steal it in God's hands right now. My name is Marjorie Thomas, and I rededicated my life here about a month ago. Since then, I have been having trials and fighting, I guess, with the devil about getting baptized. I kept, or the devil kept telling me that I couldn't do it. I, I get nervous in front of a lot of people, and he just said, just, just wait till you're ready. You don't want to need to do it now. Just, just give it time. And I also had um, problems with family members and everything that really thought that my being rededicated and straightened my life up for the Lord and everything was a bunch of bull and that I was overdoing it, as they said, and stuff like that. And I just let them think what they want to think. You know, I, all I cared about was doing what the Lord wanted me to do. And I have a six-year-old. I, I know I need to raise her with the Lord. And um, finally, last Friday, I was here, and I got prayed for, and just as I was going up to be prayed for, it just, the Lord just told me, don't worry about what the devil says. Don't worry about what anybody says. Just be baptized, and that's why I'm up here, because I know I need to give the Lord 100% of my life, not just time to go to church or when I'm in prayer or something like that, that my whole entire life, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, needs to be for the Lord. My name's Cindy. <sighs> Satan's really wanted me real bad, <laughs> but I was delivered. <laughs> and here I am. He's fighting me. He was fighting me all the way, all day today. But I made it, Satan. <laughs> I love you, Jesus. My name's Sarah, and I'm here because I love God, and I know He loves me. Yeah. 
Hi. My name is Lisa. I was brought up in a wonderful, wonderful church. A nice Baptist church. Um, wonderful parents. I want to let you know Satan just doesn't attack dysfunctional families. He attacks good, God-fearing people through their children and anything that he can use. I started drinking at the age of 13, smoking pot at 14. It graduated to narcotics. I almost died. I ran head on into a telephone pole in Mobile, Alabama, I don't, 15 years ago, and knocked it down. And, and God just wouldn't let, let the devil kill me. <laughs> um, he, God is so good. I've never known the kind of love that he's given me. And the last thing he tried to hit me with was powder cocaine, and then he slapped crack on me. And I want everybody here to know I was off of alcohol for nine years in AA. And then I relapsed. And it's because I was trying to get to God by some other way than his son. And my Bible says that the only way to get to God is through Jesus. And I'm going to serve him every day for the rest of my life. And I just want him to show me how to love other people the way that he loved me.